Hello, welcome back to Hillside Ceramics. Um, I am going to demonstrate um, how to impress and the importance of impressing tools. So just to get started, you'll need to start with your skull that you should have already added some appliques to. And I did a really rough, and my hands are filthy, but I did a really rough um, impression, impression, impress, some impressions for the mouth. Um, I'm gonna show you how to clean those up and then let me show you some of the impressing tools that are available in the studio. And these were purchases just purchased on Amazon and you can really go around and look for just about anything. I don't even know where this one came from, but could you impress little teardrops kind of in different shapes? You could also use the back of the needle tool. Um, it's a really great tool, I'm gonna grab it real quick. It's a really great tool for just dots. Um, so you can impress with the dots. Um, and later on down the line, you can use some of the perfect hole makers to um, make some negative space as well. So, and you could, um, instead of having just dots, you could have negative space for your candle to go through. So, I'm just gonna start um, with my skull. And for me to not um, smash him in while I'm impressing, I definitely wanna work either in my lap, and that's the preferred method, or if you wanna work on your bird's nest, but a really fluffy, fluffy bird's nest. Um, I would prefer working on my lap, but for demonstration purposes, I kinda of have to do it this way. So I'm gonna go through, or I'm gonna go and uh, just pick a few that I like. And to get nice, perfect lines, I really like this one. Uh, that's my, not my favorite. This one is my favorite too. No, nope, that's not it either. Let me see. Ah. Uh, uh, I have one that I can just push really nicely. Oh, this is nice, because it, it almost looks like stitching when you use it. So I'm gonna just go in and push to the mouth. And if you wanna just impress your mouth, sure, that's an option. You can also make little teeth appliques, which are super duper fun as well. But this is a nice, clean, simple one because I feel like I have a lot of energy on the top of the skull and a lot of variety on the top of the skull. So I'll calm them down a little bit with a little less energy in the mouth. So I'm happy with that, okay? So now I can pick different, um, you know, obviously the different ends are gonna uh, provide different textures. Even the ones with the ones that fell off, they look like cute little balls when you do them. We have um, ones with bigger shapes and we even have this little guy that runs along him but um you choose so i think i want to start with maybe these this hollow and maybe this little ball and this hollow end and maybe this pointer let's see so plan yours out but i'm gonna go from here and just do a variety of impressions two maybe just two fits i don't want to push them and or crowd them. So I have these ones end up, the ones on the left end up a little bigger, so I'll go a little bigger here. And I'm really happy with that, okay? Just gives it a little impressing. And then maybe between that, I'll just go boink, boink, and maybe one down the side so it's not so busy. One more down the side. So it kind of looks like jewelry when you do that. Would you guys agree? Now maybe I'll start with a smaller one here and here, and because I would really recommend that you stay symmetrical, whatever you do on one side, do on the other. And maybe I'll go in with this negative one where it's just a hole, see what that looks like. One there, oh, I like that. One there, press a little harder. Okay, do you see how that can look really neat? And then I'm gonna add a, a multitude, I'm gonna add some variety. So I'm gonna go in with this guy and give it that. Yeah, okay, and again, whatever I do on one side, I do on the other, and I'm gonna go back with the small one. Boom, boom, and then the hollow one. I hope this is coming out well for the video. Maybe I'll go in a little, okay. And again, whatever I do, and they're a little bit crooked, it's not perfect. Um, I'm making a demo video. I'm not gonna get picky here because of time, but you'll slow down and make yours a little better than mine. Okay. 
And so you see I have this nice variety around the, around the top of the eye. And again, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but I tried. And maybe I'll just go in, um, hmm. I don't know, I think I might just leave it there like that for now. So this is a good start with how to impress. You could go in to the sides, actually. You can go down here and do one, two, three, and they're a little spread out different. And then take my rounded one and go between that one and that one. I got a little, and then maybe another one here and another one of those little ones there. Oop, the tiny little one. Okay, so whatever I did on one side, I'll do on the other. And let's go back and look. So dot, hollow, dot, hollow, dot, hollow. Okay, so again, right where that applique ended. And I can go, did I go the big dots? Oh yeah, so dot, 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 how many of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, let me push that one for good measure. And in between, one, two, three. And that one's more straight, this one's a little more curved, but that's okay. They're sisters or cousins, not twins. Um, all right, so I hope that helped you learn how to impress me with your impressive skills. I may put another hollow one. Oh, maybe I'll do one of these textures here, just to kind of give it a little blend those. And see, that's totally different on this side, but maybe I'll go like this. And again, they're sisters not, or cousins, not twins. All right, I hope this helps. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification button so that you get updates as I post these videos. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.